Okay, welcome back for an urgent update. I got a question from a viewer. This particular gentleman uh, had a question about why his database updates weren't showing up in the customers.mdf file. That's a good question. Um, originally, when you connect this as the SQL Server database through MSSQL, uh, they do show up in this top level database. But you can see I've got a copied output directory of newer. Um, what's happening is if we look at our app.config, config, is it's going to the local DB, which means in the same directory, the data directory customers.mdf. If you think about what happens when you build a project, uh, we build a solution, it creates a bin directory, and in that bin directory, your debug and your production, if you're doing it, uh, release, uh, and it puts in there customers.mdf. So what you'll need to do is come over here on your server explorer and add a connection to this customer's MDF file, and you'll be able to see your updated data. Uh, now you have to be careful because sometimes you have to close this connection because depending on Visual Studio, your environment, it may not build. You just right click and close connection, then it'll build. I think mine is building, uh, but I have seen them fail to build when this connection to a database in the MD in the uh, debug or release folders is active. Uh, let me show you an example of what I'm talking about here. Uh, in this one, if which is this customer's database, if I look at the customer's table data, I see Tom Thumb, Julie Morris, and Johnny Rotten. And if I look at this one in the bin directory, I can show you that the data is updated. So the database that actually gets updated is the ones in here, in your debug, because it's the local data directory, and it's using the SQL 2012 local provider. So if you built up a huge database in debug, and then you switched over here to release mode, and you did a release build, then whatever's in this database is what would end up in the release database. And I think you get what I'm saying. So just something to keep in mind, that's why it's happening, um, and it, it can be confusing. I, I ran into it myself because I'm working on, uh, tip my hat a little bit here. Uh, you'll notice I've upgraded to Visual Studio 13. This is running on the new supercomputer I call Skynet, uh, so it's much faster. Uh, but you'll notice that I'm working on the concurrency, and this is my new form. And so it'll be ready here in the next day or two. I'll be posting that video on concurrency. But I want to upload this one. I wanted to explain why uh, you not seeing the updated data in this database. What you need to do is click on your project, hit show all files, and create a connection to this customer's MDF in your debug. Or if you're doing a release build, your release build. And that's where your updates and everything are going on. Now your entity model and stuff like that uh, you'll still do all your updates to your database and stuff as far as structure, store procedures, and all of that to this one, and then update your model from it. And when you build, the copy of newer command will copy that down and it will overwrite the one in your bin. So you'll lose your data. But this is a training video. We're not building a, a large scale database. So it's, it's about the structure, store procedures, and the concepts we're covering. So hopefully that answers your question. And if you have any more questions, keep them coming, and uh, I'll release videos to answer them, or answer you directly. But this one was big enough, I needed to get it out there. So I'm going to get this uploaded, and I uh, hope it helps. Thanks for stopping by.